Well, hello, boys and girls. It's Pastor Steve. Welcome back to Story Time with just a little bit of music. And I hope you're staying warm these days, especially when you are out uh, on your way to or from school or playing in the snow. It can be really cold out there. But uh, there's a lot of good ways to warm up once you get back inside, you know, like a, a hot drink or, or just doing some playing inside. Or for me, it's playing the cello. So this song really warms me up real nicely. And I hope you like it. And then I've got a nice story for you as well. This is another Johann Sebastian Bach song. Okay, you ready? story that I hope makes your day go a little bit better. It's called If I Was the Sunshine, and you really have to use your imagination a little bit. The pictures really help. I love the pictures in this book, um, and the wording is, oh, it's wonderful. So, so pay attention to the words and uh, see if you can uh, pretend that you're in the story, okay? And you can see in each page um, you know, either nature or people talking to each other. So if I was the sunshine and you were the day, I'd call you hello. And here we have a, a rooster saying his hello at the beginning of the day. A day that's got lots involved in it, all kinds of work and play. So let's see. If I was the sunshine, you were the day, I'd call you hello, and you'd call me stay. And here's one of the chores, milking the cow. That's a big cow. If you were the winter and I was the spring, I'd call you whisper. And here you have a bear hibernating. A big bear. I'd call you whisper and you'd call me sing. And then here is the springtime when they're done hibernating and the little cubs are playing. Well, that'll be so nice when we can roll around in the grass again and see the flowers come up. It'll happen. If I were a flower and you were a nose, I'd call you sniff, and you can see a, a nose sniffing the flowers. I'd call you sniff, and you'd call me rose. Look what was attached to the nose. A 
skunk. Now, if, if you were a bird and I were a tree, you'd call me home. And here we have a woodpecker looking for food. You'd call me home and I'd call you free. Oh, look at the pattern that the woodpecker made in the wood. That's nice, it's a heart. Now, if I were an apple and you were a worm, you'd call me lunch. And here we see some squirrels in an apple tree. With a inchworm getting closer, you'd call me lunch and I'd call you squirm because there it goes squirming into the apple. That's why it's always good to look before you bite those apples. Now, if you were a mountain and I were the sky, I'd call you almost, and here you see some mountain goats way up high on a mountain. I'd call you almost and you'd call me hi. And then you see the perspective is from the ocean looking up to the mountains. And if you look real close, you can see a whale going right back into the waves. I think you saw that. If I was the ocean and you were a boat, you'd call me wild. Look at these waves tossing the boat. I would not want to be on that boat. I'd call you wild and Oops, wait a minute, I'm sorry. You called me wild and I'd call you float. And you can see what's underneath the waves. A big whale right underneath the boat. If you were the thunder and I was a cloud, you'd call me softly. And here you see a, a, a moose in the middle of a lake with a forest all around it. You were the thunder and I was a cloud. You'd call me softly and I'd call you loud. That's because you can see the lightning crack in the middle of a storm. I must have scared that moose. If I was the silence and you were a sound, I'd call you missing.
that does seem like a quiet scene. I'd call you missing and you'd call me found. All of a sudden the noise comes when the geese fly over. Okay, here we go. If you were a firefly and I was the dark, you'd call me everywhere. And you can see this little girl looking into the woods and there's one firefly. You'd call me everywhere, and I'd call you Spark, and she's holding it in her hands. And looks like all the Firefly friends have joined him. And then we come to the conclusion. If I was the morning and you were the night, you'd call me tomorrow. And here you see someone on the rocking chair of the porch uh, just waiting for the, the morning, waiting for the dawn. I was the morning and you were the night, you'd call me tomorrow and I'd call you sleep tight. What a nice way to end the day. Well, I'm glad whether this is the end of the day or the beginning of the day that you're watching this, I'm glad that you're part of it and that you're sharing this time with me. And I do hope you enjoyed that story and those wonderful pictures. So let's have some prayer together, boys and girls. And dear Lord, we, uh, we thank you for this wonderful world that you created for us to live in. And help us always to uh, open our eyes to the awe and wonder of your creation so that we do not miss the, um, the sound and the silence, the light and the dark, the creatures all around us, and, and especially, Lord, the people who you put in our pathways to love us and to care for us as they are channels of your love and we thank you for that love in our lord and savior jesus the christ may we experience all of that love today in jesus name we pray amen well thank you boys and girls and i will see you next week bye bye